Connor O'Leary in that same seat of trying to move up in the rankings as Michelle Perez, a former pipe master, and just a .57 in that heat so far. Yeah, <clears throat> that's going to be a great heat, Joe. Excuse me, uh, Connor O'Leary in good form. And obviously, uh, Michelle Perez, a defending champ. Matty Wilco dropped his best score as well. So a good little fight right now. That heat is really heating up. Now knifing the takeoff is Michelle Perez. And he comes flying out. Last three waves have been incredible here at Pipe. Unloading with a lot of spit, just shoving these guys out of the barrel. Perez timed that one well. Critical takeoff and got the exit for his opening score. And uh, he's gonna get well rewarded. Michelle Perez as well, that, that was the wave behind. That was like three waves in a row that absolutely hit the reef perfectly. Perez, no stranger to waves like this. Looks very comfortable on his backhand in heavy water waves to your, your competitors and you're out there to try and win and be the best in the world. You know, you, you make friends along the way and it, it really does uh, not, you know, sit well with some guys to, to beat their friends. As we check out this left, setting up for Connor O'Leary. He gets the exit. Nice read there. Saw the opening right into daylight. He'll get his best score so far against Michelle Perez. Every single day, let's have a look at Connor's wave driving into the tube and sneaking out of the end. Those are the kind of barrels that the judges want to see, Joe, those pedal to the metal ones. And then sneaking out the end, creating a little bit of drama towards the minute heats, but they don't realize the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Obviously, not feeling very well, waking up on a day when pop is maxing. What's that like to try and pick yourself up, keep the energy up? The conditions, the way they looked, everyone was thinking Griffin was going to run away with it. And Zietz turned that one around. Michelle Perez, late takeoff, punches free to get another great completion. Now that is a kind of wave that I think only Michel Barres could have pulled off. I think that thing landed square on his shoulders. But because he's the Spartan, he, <laughs> he, he was able to fight his way through that. The big finals, he's been in this position before, pulling in nice and deep. Michel Barres is on a roll. Two consecutive makes for the Tahitian. It's built on his total against Conor O'Leary at the seven minute mark. He is so strong. As we see Barres. Pulling in, driving, comes out nice and clean. We've seen him take this event out in the past. More waves approaching the lineup. Setting this one up is Connor O'Leary deep in a massive K. 3.15 on the clock. Connor O'Leary searching. He finds this inside corner to play with. Not What's not going to help him out as he goes down. Now we're down to the countdown with Michelle Perez and Connor O'Leary. Connor chasing a 5.98 to keep himself on the top 34, and he can't find it against the former pipe master.